Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Agriculture with Samir and in this video we will be learning about one more important calculations of agriculture. So as we know that weeds are the most disturbing element in the field of agriculture for each and every crop. So to kill the weeds we mostly apply weedicides and as we know that most of the farmers in our country use sprayers as the most used method for spraying of weedicides or herbicides. So just to spray we must know the amount and the quantity of spray that we need or quantity of weedicide that we need to spray in the field. We cannot spray more or less quantity of weedicides in the field which may hamper the growth of the crop or the yield of the crop. So to know that what amount of uh, weedicides we have to spray we must know the quantity of the sprayer and what area can it be covered within in that amount of spray quantity so to know what the amount of spray should be and uh, how much area can be covered we have to uh, calculate the quantity of the spray and the area of the sprayer so that uh, we can efficiently use the method of spraying in agriculture in a proper manner so in this video we have a calculations uh, in my board like how much area can be sprayed by two backpack sprayers of capacity 12 liters if the recommended spray is 400 liters per hectare. So this question signifies that there are two backpack sprayers each with quantity 12 liters. So there are two backpack sprayers which we wear and spray in the field and each quantity is 12 liters. But the recommended uh, spray for that particular crop for a hectare is 400 liters means we require 400 liters of weedicides to be spread in a hectare of land and so when we are having 12 liter capacity of two tanks how much area can it uh, spray uh, in in that quantity in this quantity how much area can it spray at once so let us calculate and know how much area can it spray so it's a very simple thing that uh, we have got the recommended Spray dose here that is we require 400 liters for one hectare or one hectare we know or 10,000 meters square right so here we have 12 liters of two tanks that means the capacity of the total capacity that we have to spray capacity of sprays that we have with us is 2 into 12 equal to 24 liters is the capacity capacity total capacity of sprayers okay so if 400 liters in 400 liters we can spray 10,000 meters square 10,000 meters square so in 400 liters we can spray 4 sorry can spray 10,000 meters squares then in 24 liters we can spray is how much this is the requirement that is being asked so let us calculate and know how we have how much area can we spray how much area can we spray in 24 liters at once so in 24 liters we can spray like 10,000 sorry so let me let me say how you have how we have to calculate this so this is something what we need to calculate about unitary method. So if 400 liters we can spread 10,000 meters squares. Then we have to know that in one liter, in one liter we can spray is 10,000 divided by 400. So now our total capacity is 24 liters. So in 24 liters we can spray is 24 liters we can spray is simply 10,000 by 400 into 24 this is the area in meter square so this is what we have to know that how to calculate this is the most important calculation thing this is the most important calculation thing in this video so we have to know how we have to calculate the area that could be spread in 24 liters of our space so let's solve this 25 25 into 24 
so it's 600 meters square so this is all about the calculation that uh, what is the recommended uh, petrol, uh, spraying capacity or spraying uh, dose and what quantity we have and how much area can we spray at once so now if we, are, we can spray 600 meters 600 meters uh, at once with these two tanks then now we can calculate that uh, how many tanks how many times we need to fill the two backpack sprayers to spray 10,000 meters squares this is how we can calculate and we can use it in the agriculture fields to spray on the weeds weeds, weeds to kill them this is all about the video and I hope you learned many things from it and how to calculate it and it is best mainly on the unit element. So thank you everyone for watching my video with patience. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing.